Hello and welcome everyone to DigiTales episode 51. Today I have someone who needs no introduction. You have seen her on all sorts of content on your screens and she's involved in some really, really cool initiatives that we're going to talk about today. Sarvat Kilani. Hi, Sarvat. Hi, Fezal. Thank How you for are you? having me. Thank you for joining us. And I really was excited to talk to you about this because everyone's seen you on screen. Everyone knows you're this working mom, super successful. But I think a few people know this new project you've just taken on. And it's this really super initiative uh, called The Art House. And I wanted to talk to you about that today. So want to walk us through The Art House and tell me what it is? I'll actually practically walk you through it. So, <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, Let's take a look. Are, yes, uh, here we are. This is our entrance. And I'm going to just flip the camera so you can see what it looks like. And then we nice. can take it from there. As you can see, art is awesome. Art That's is the beginning. Awesome. Art is awesome. And uh, there's a hint of what we do. Amazing. And uh, this is our space. Wow, and, what an um, interesting space. I just space. feel, Fazan, that, yeah, and there's lots of color, but it's in, not in your face. I wanted the space right. to look uh, light and calming, have this calming feel to it. This is our um, office. And uh, so basically, you come down the stairs, and this is our reception. And this and, is for kids, uh, right? Kids ages, I think, Three and up, either way, all till 11? Three to 10. Three to, Three 10, to 10, there are uh, there are some programs that go up to 12 uh, age, uh, age group also. Uh -huh. uh, but I'll walk you through each program and tell you what each room contains. So okay. this is our arts and craft space. Very cool. Um, yeah, it is so much fun. As if somebody has finally given me a space to do my art and what, nice. is, what I'm passionate about. So nice. there's lots of artwork that you can see. Uh, we talk about functional art, decorative art. We talk about different textures, patterns. Uh, so Fazan, I was an Indus Valley grad and uh, I graduated in 2004. And I felt mm -hmm. like what we studied in the university as, as a university level was mm -hmm. very much, uh, you know, oh, I mean, it was very much uh, needed as children. And if we got to learn all of that as a child, I think our senses or our uh, observational skills would be so much better. Um, right. Then we have a reading corner. And uh, this is all our reading uh, material. Liberty Books is our uh, reading partner. And nice. this is where we read and we explore and we literally go nuts. Wow, uh, so that's such a nice feel, calming space. And yeah. it, it looks so inviting. You just want to sit there, lie down and read a book. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes kids are not in the mood to go home. So right. that's their space to chill out and lie down. And uh, we give them different sensory toys and books to un understand, read, whatever they want to do, you know. Right. And I feel that it's so important to have spaces and then utilize it with educational value. So like if you have a wall, which is all right. empty, you can put a world map. And every nice. day when the child looks at it, you talk about it, subconsciously, they're sort of grabbing that information and storing it. So nice. that's the idea. As so this is see, the room of expression and learning. This is where they express themselves. This is where they pick up yes. new concepts. Nice. Yes. And this is also so kids like, from different backgrounds. I, I, you know, I, I recall you were mentioning that it is children from a variety of backgrounds that come here and express themselves, right? Yes, Fezan. So, uh, you know, when I was making this space, I realized and before, like when I was planning to do this, I realized that why should any information and play and creativity be only for a certain group or a certain class? Uh, kids coming from a certain class. So this art house is a space where uh, you talk about architectures, what they do, um, you know, how you explore uh, natural uh, volcanic mountains and stuff like that. But it's for everyone. It's for kids who come from, uh, you know, sort of underprivileged backgrounds. They come from Mali, Liari, Kurangi, uh, spaces that don't have such kind of a a uh, creative play uh, sort of atmosphere where uh, mm -hmm. around them in their surroundings. This is a parent uh, and 
audience room where they can come, they can read a book, they can make tea for themselves, and mm -hmm. they can basically just wait for the child in a cozy, nice. comfortable atmosphere. Because a lot of times I would be sitting where the guard is sitting, or I would be sitting <laughs> on the footpath right. waiting for my kids to get done with the creative class. Right. And I think it's very, very important to give parents uh, uh, some time off also. So here we are, we're leading to the will take you like, uh, okay, so this is very close to my heart. And I think uh, magic comes from art. So everything yes. that is real was once imagined or imagined very, first, very nice. you know, um, and then we have our wings that <laughs> you can very take and nice. fly with. And then here we are with the Taekwondo and yoga space so we've divided the, uh, the the schedule in a way that they both don't overlap and both the teachers can utilize this space it's mm -hmm. a huge room with a huge mirror so a lot of times kids want to look at themselves while they exercise there are amazing um, conversations that we have uh, pertaining um, body boundaries especially with Taekwondo, you know, how kids should cry for help, what is safe and unsafe touch, uh, what is a stranger, why is he dangerous, you know, stuff like uh, a lot of times parents shy away from talking about this because they feel that the child will feel threatened and we don't want to scare the child. Why mm -hmm. the idea is that he will only be scared if you've never spoken about it. So let's mm -hmm. talk about it from an early age. Also, uh, with yoga, uh, we do a lot of um, self and uh, well-being. We talk about self-well-being. So uh, emotional intelligence is one of the most important things that we need to know as adults. So every day the child comes and he puts his uh, stick with his name on how he's feeling. So he could be wow. feeling scared and he could be feeling surprised, sad. He wants to scream. He feels like having fun. He, she, he's nervous, excited, angry. So we need to know. And then that's how the teacher conducts the class uh, according to how each child is feeling. Amazing. So, you know, that is and, amazing. and I feel it's very important to talk first, talk it out. Uh, emotional intelligence is something that we've just recently uh gotten to know you know uh, this term and we're very unaware of how we're feeling a lot of times as adults we feel that i'm scared or i'm angry but i don't know why so mm -hmm. that why uh, will only be answered if you're aware of it you know uh, this is our music room then um we do piano we do guitar and we also do violin but violin is at halt right now because our teacher is traveling but okay. music is one of the most amazing things you can do to your child, exp you know, uh, explore uh, his own capabilities of using his mind, his hands, his eye and hand coordination. We also have somebody who comes in and sings for us. So there's oh, wow. a harmonium, as you can see. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. So, so kids are learning a harmonium. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah. uh, you know, the whole idea is for them to understand our tradition and culture through yeah. Art House also. Then we have a tree of secrets, Fazan, okay. where a lot of times kids, um, you know, predators to try and tell the kids that there's a secret between us and this is a right. secret and you can't tell anyone. And so right. we want the kids to tell those secrets to us right. and then we deal with it accordingly. Wow, um, okay. So we, we just want them to take out information, to communicate, have a dialogue, constant dialogue. Then right. we have robotics and coding. And uh, I really feel that uh, this is the future. This is and the future, it's about absolutely. Time that uh, we all get to uh, you know, understand a bit of it. So this is our class. We do... Um, we have this amazing uh, set of Legos right. and uh, it's basically tech machines. And we start with uh, very basic Lego structures, right. as you can see over here. Uh, and you start with the youngest kids and they learn how to put things together, the yes. assembly, the execution. And then it's deep work and that concept of deep work is inculcated at the young age. 
Yes, absolutely. And also it gives a chance for the child to understand how important it is to start a task and then finish it. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of times I get parents to ask me, why, how can you do that? How can they finish a task? And the whole idea is that you have to sit with them sit down with the child you mm -hmm. can't give a box to the child and expect them to finish a task on his mm -hmm. own so you have to sort of sit with them uh, create that uh, curiosity uh, be available for them to, uh, to if they have a question be available to answer uh, you know and so with uh, robotics we start with lego building and then they go on to uh, putting machines and wires and then they understand how oh, wow. it works mechanically. So something like this, they started putting it together. Sorry. Mm -hmm. They started putting it together. And now they're on the stage where they want to work the vehicle. And they're so not under of, 10 years old. That's amazing. They're, they're all under this. 10 years old. Yes. And then we have baking. Is that a kitchen? That for snack time. <laughs> Actually, we encourage kids to come and bake themselves nice, okay. and be independent and Very understand nice. that, you know, a lot of times kids are fearful of using the kitchen. It feels like, you know, it's something that they can never do uh, because they never understand it. So uh, every class initially we do table etiquettes where you oh, learn where to place your mats, your uh, cutlery, how it goes by, where, where should you sit, how you should sit, what are the types of uh, placement of the fork and the spoon you need to do, uh, especially telling the chef how your food was. So I think there's no end to learning, uh, Fazan. Uh, I we encourage a lot of times parents say, oh, ye to ladka hai, to isko baking ki kya zarurat hai. And then right. I have this whole list of amazing chefs from the world doing this all you know all around the world and i'm like please do not confine the, the child because that's a set standard in our heads so right. let's open up our own heads and this is where they um do their you know all their pasting and right. there's a lot of artwork also that goes there um so every day whatever they're baking uh, or cooking uh, there's a list of um, uh, ingredients uh, and then the method and they complete that worksheet I don't know if they have one here uh, but they normally complete that worksheet and they take it with them so say something like this oh, so they color cool. it okay so like uh, chocolate filled buns they mm -hmm. color it they write the ingredients so they remember it and then there is a method so they can go home and uh, bake a little for their right. siblings for their parents and uh, try and be as independent, as confident about what they're learning at our house. So that's what we do. And then we have Amazing. this little bed uh, where if some child does not feel so well, we have yeah. an aid box and, you know, we take right. care of them however we can. So basically, Fazan, this is a space where you can bring your child. A lot of times children don't want to go in the class. So we have a space mm -hmm. where the parent is waiting or a new child has arrived. And, you know, we don't want the parent to get disturbed. So we give him books. He can uh, take books and kids love it. Like I remember yesterday I met this girl, very cute girl. She was there with her parent. And she read all of these one by one. Wow. It was an hour long break. And, um, you know, if you... If the things are reachable uh, to the children, if they are um, in 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 uh, you know in around arm's length, they will grab it. So you just mm -hmm. have to create their that curiosity. I'm going to settle myself now, mm -hmm. and 